Here I have shoe last covered with masking tape. On the masking tape we design our shoe. This is how we work when we want to make a pattern. We cover our shoe last with masking tape. We draw on the masking tape the design of our shoe and then we need to cut it out and transfer our masking tape pattern to the cardboard. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. So, one of the mistakes that I often see that beginners make is the problem with cutting the masking tape accurately, especially this edge of the masking tape, the feather edge, the edge of the shoe last where we have insole, the line of the sole. This line is very important because to this line next we will add, during pattern making, we will add lasting allowance. So we need to have precise line of the shoe last that will be exactly like the edge of the shoe last. Okay? So how we usually must do it? We need to cut it with knife following the edge of the shoe last button. If you have steel plate on the back part of your shoe last, it will help you to cut it because uh, you will follow the edge of the steel plate. You can make a trace with your fingernail like this to seal this line precisely. And following this edge, you will cut this place of your masking tape pattern. But here, most of you have problems to cut it accurately because here, this edge, you don't have any guideline to cut it. And through masking tape, you maybe have a difficulty to see the edge. So, what you can do, there are few ways to cut it precisely. One of them, and this is how you should do it with knife, and it will come with experience, you should train a lot to cut it correctly. But this trick that I will show you right now help you to cut it with knife. To see the edge of the shoe last clearly, you can mark the edge of the shoe last with pencil like this to see the edge precisely. Of course, before you start to cut, you should flatten the edge of the masking tape here. The edge of the, um, the masking tape on close to the edge of the shoe last, the place close to the edge of the shoe last to have, to have this part without any faults, okay? And mark the line with pencil. And then you will proceed to cut it. Right now I will not cut because I want to show you two other uh, tricks that will help you to cut it without knife. Because in the beginning maybe you will have a difficulty to cut it precisely. You should try to cut with knife, but you to help you with the cutting, you can use these two tips that I will show right now. So to cut this line without knife and get clean and precise line, you can use steel ruler or some wooden stick with attached on it adhesive um, sandpaper, not adhesive, uh, rough sandpaper like this one, you see, it's very rough, it's, I, I think, yes, it is the grid of 40, you see, you can cut some piece and attach it on some wooden stick and use it, I will show you how in a few minutes. So, let's start to cut. Following the steel plate, it will be very easy to cut for you, even if you're a beginner. But then, in this area, you may have some, you will not uh, have a good control with your knife and will cut it not accurate. So, this is the second way to cut it without knife is using this side of the uh, steel ruler and scratch it like this. You see, it have exact line of the shoe last bottom. 
it may take more time than working with knife but you will have very accurate edge exact edge that will be the same as the edge of the shoe last or you can use this is third way to cut it uh, that will help you to cut uh, the edge of masking tape in this part of our shoe last with the adhesive, not adhesive, <laughs> with the sandpaper, okay, attached to some wooden, wooden stick. And just sand it, placing the straight part of the, of the wooden stick in this way, touching only the edge. Okay, I will, here it's all already uh, not works, <laughs> the sandpaper, so I will, I will sand in this area, okay? So like this, you will sand and you will have precise line. Again, it will take more time than working with knife. And sand until you will see the edge. Don't overdo it to not ruin the edge of the um, shoe last. And before you will take off this masking tape part, check well if you cut it till the edge. Okay, so you see, it's exactly, this line now is follow, follows the edge of the shoe last in this area very perfectly, okay? Same thing here on the top side. In, in some pattern making, in the making of some um, foot thread types, it's very important to have this line also with very clean and precise shape and here also we have uh, it's very difficult to see this not difficult it's very difficult to um, to cut with knife if you're a beginner so you can use same tricks here first make a line and try to cut it with knife or then cut it with ruler like this or wooden stick with sandpaper okay so this is uh, three tricks that you can use in cutting masking tape cover to have very clean and precise line that follows the edge of the shoe bottom precisely. Okay? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. Thank you. That's it.